Thing one tonight, ever since Michael Wolff's groundbreaking book on the Trump administration depicting a wholly dysfunctional White House and a president surrounded by aides who don't believe he's fit for office, the burning question has been, why did they ever let Michael Wolff in to wander the White House in the first place? Here's what Wolff said to NBC in his first interview. Your former editor at Vanity Fair, Graydon Carter, said he wasn't surprised you'd written this explosive book. He was surprised they let you in the door at the White House. <laughs> Are you surprised? I, you know, um, uh, I, no, I'm a nice guy. I go in. <laughs> Did and, you flatter um, your way in? I certainly said what was ever necessary to get the story. So what exactly did Michael Wolff say to get the story? Well, today there are new details about that, a report that reads like a spy cultivating an easy mark. How President Trump saw something he liked during his executive time and then gave Michael Wolff the keys to the White House. That's thing two in 60 seconds. 11 months before Michael Wolff released his bombshell book on the Trump administration, he did a TV interview and President Trump was watching. We go into a, um, a fit of apoplexy and what we set up is, um, as we try to go after his credibility, our credibility becomes equally a problem. I think okay. individual journalists are, um, in many cases, having a nervous breakdown. President Trump really liked that take. It was a hot one. According to a new Bloomberg report based on conversations with multiple current and former Trump aides and advisors, Trump himself phoned the author in early February to compliment him on a CNN appearance in which Wolf criticized media coverage of the new president. Wolf reportedly told Trump he wanted to write a book on the administration, and the next day he was at the White House meeting with Kellyanne Conway and Hope Hicks. In his pitch for access, Wolf used a working title for the book, just a working title. He called it The Great Transition. The first hundred days of the Trump administration. And in part due to that title, Wolf was able to exploit an inexperienced White House staff who mistakenly believed they could shape the book to the president's liking. While we have yet to see how destructive Fire and Fury might be to this administration, remember, it is Trump himself that made the book possible. A little bit of flattery went a long way. And while Trump basked in Wolf's comments the media was losing, it also seems he missed at least one clue about the author's motive. You got to get in. You got to meet these people. You got to talk to these people. You have to see what's going on. Are you and just sucking up to get access to the White House? If I'm sucking up a bit to get access, but I'm also trying to, I am the only person, it would seem, who is actually having this conversation. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.